All right, embarrassing story time. Uh, I think you guys are going to kick out of this. I probably shouldn't upload this. Um, so last week, Shay and I were at Barnes Noble uh, doing some book signing and shopping for a couple magazines for a flight. And I decided to pick up some of the TV magazines, which I never really look at. Uh, all the like Entertainment Weekly and TV Guide stuff. And there was like bits of silo um, stuff everywhere. So I just wanted to see what was out there. And I'm thumbing through everything. It's like all these great reviews, all these announcements. And in the back of the TV guy, like what's on list, um, is like a catalog of all the shows out right now. I was I scanned down, get to the S's, and there's silo and it has an A+. Plus. And I've been, you know, seeing reviews here and there, like CinemaScore and... Um, and IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes and all that. So here's just another um, little data point that uh, people love the show. Got an A+. Plus. And I noticed looking around the big spread that uh, a lot of these shows got a D+, plus, which is awful. Felt really bad for those shows. And not all the shows were rated, so I felt like it was like a Publisher's Weekly Star Review. I was like, uh, you know, someone actually um, bothered to watch and, and rate the show. And so uh, I told Shay, I was like, hey, uh, Silo's got an A plus in, uh, in the back of this magazine. And unfortunately, <laughs> it was only after I said it that I realized that A plus on all these shows was to let people know they were on Apple Plus. And those poor D plus shows were just shows on Disney. So uh, I was uh, <laughs> a little giddy for nothing. But anyway. I think the show is an A plus, and it's on Apple Plus, and uh, yeah, that's my embarrassing story for the year. I'm not going to do them daily because you guys don't need to know that much about me.